What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Camp and Coleman. It's your boy Josh, aka Coleman, and uh, I'm chilling in the studio. I got a box, big old box from Asia Tees, but as you can see, it's empty. Why? Because I opened it. Because I'm impatient. <clears throat> but, I'm going to show you guys what I got anyways. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, without beating around the bush let's just get to it probably gonna be a short video just because I've got a lot of work to do tonight and I don't want to be up all night but here is the array all laid out now um, this isn't everything I needed but it is a dang good start the reason being uh, I am going to attempt to finish building all of these trucks all of them I'm gonna finish them finish them I want them done done this year so that is my mission right now I'm hitting up my sponsors I am uh, letting them know what's going down I've got a goal my goal is to complete these builds okay this one right here done that one right there haven't even begun needs re not redone just needs a few things actually it's pretty close to being done that's pretty close to being done too but this one that right there has a tremendous amount of work and I'm about to lay into it hard i already mentioned that before i'm going to hammer that out this one still needs a decent amount of work that needs uh quite a bit of work and you know there's just there's a lot of work to do so let's get to it huh what do you guys think what should we go for first i'm saying well let's do this little guy this right here is the new 007 br Gyro. This is from Boom Racing, all right, or made by Boom Racing, and this is uh, from AsiaTees.com. All of this is from AsiaTees.com. Now, right here is the part number. If you guys want to look it up for yourselves, this is for rear wheel drive drifting. The reason I got this is because I'm going to convert this, or already have begun converting this, to rear wheel drive. This is a rear wheel drive car now. So, this is going to go with that. It's going to stay right there, and we're going to make a rear-wheel drive drift car. Eventually, it's going to get a nice body and all that stuff from Asia Tees. And uh, there's, if you guys go on Asia Tees' website, you'll see for yourself. Their drifting parts are awesome. they got a ton of them, and you can build just about anything you want. They even have whole drift car kits there. Ooh, so I guess we're looking at that next. This right here is the aluminum steering linkage. I was waiting for this to focus in. All right, this is uh, something I use already. I use that and that right there. And it's going to go in this, because this still has stock links on the front half of it. So, we're going to take care of that. Now, this right here, this is just a, pretty much for setting up my displays and stuff. Um, this is a, well, you guys can read for yourself, it's a tire rack. But this isn't like the big one I have. I have the other tire rack that works for, uh, like crawler tires, off-road tires. This is for on-road tires. This will be for my drift car. When, you know, once I build this drift car, I'm going to start doing drift car things as well. So uh, between scale drifting and scale on-road stuff and then scale off-road stuff, we should have quite the collection of scale videos going here. This right here is from Top Shelf Hobby. This is, uh, well, pretty self-explanatory. It's a gas tank, fuel bottle. Um, a little gas can like you'd see you know on the back of a uh, race car trailer or something like that so this is gonna find its way onto one of my trailers over there I'm pretty sure boom all right now let's go to this this right here goes with this over here this is uh, the new tent from Asia Tees the scale compact pit tent as you can see there this is awesome. Um, Drew Dog, no, not Drew Dog, I apologize. Fern Dog uh, has the full size one of these. I helped him set it up at the Worlds, and it was awesome. So I got the RC version. And uh, yeah, I love it. So, and you can get those from HTs. They're perfect for parking your scale trucks under at events. You know, if you go to like uh, Recon G6s or 
get-togethers, comps, things like that. They're great for parking your trucks under, and it actually does provide real-life shade. So it's kind of a working scale accessory, I guess. Oh, we'll get to those in just a second. Next, let's go to these. These are beefcake, dude. These right here are from Team Raff. All right, Team Raffco. I, I could be pronouncing that wrong. It could be Raffi. Rafe, <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, these are links, lower links for SEX10 with a uh, aluminum skid plate. This is beefcake. This thing is awesome, and these links are super yoked out, dude. So uh, yes, definitely look into those if you need links. Holy cow, those are way more beefcake than I expected. I got two sets of those. Uh, one is going on that bad boy right there. The other set will probably go on that bad boy right there. Most likely. We'll see. All right. Right here, we've got a uh, Sense Innovations sound unit. Whoa! Which I'm dropping. Um, you guys have already seen this in one of my other videos. If you want to see it and you don't recall watching that video, uh, it would be the one where I unveil that Jeep right there. Because that Jeep has one in it. And I actually chopped it all up and modified it and got it to fit in there pretty nicely. Um, so yeah, since innovations. And I hope to get a few more of these just because I need them in several trucks. I don't want them in all of my trucks, but I want them in my tow trucks. the uh, My main tow trucks and show trucks, I guess you can say. So I want it in those two, that one, and that one for now. And uh, that should do it. This right here is what I'm extremely excited about. This right here is the BLS 9130. This is a brushless servo. This is all titanium geared and it is extremely strong. Stronger than my high tech ones. Um, so I'm pretty stoked on this. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll do a comparison. I'm not going to go over this, all the details and stuff right now. It's got, you know, that right there but there's a lot more information to talk about with this so yeah let's uh let's talk about this on another episode very very excited i actually got this for that my heaviest truck so that should say something at least pretty excited um i don't want to brag on it too much because i've never ran one we're gonna have to test it out and see if it can handle first and uh, if it can handle then we'll brag on it a little bit all right last but not least i got these right here these are uh, receivers, the uh, GR3E three-channel receivers for my GT3B three-channel radios, which I got two of. So I am pretty excited about that. Um, basically, the reason I got those is because the majority of my trucks are still running stock radios. Stock radios, stock radios, uh, it's a stock radio from something else, doesn't even have a radio. Uh, that's a, got a good vice, guys. Stock radio, stock radio, stock radio, stock radio. I got lots of stock radio. So, we're going to try to get away from all those stock radios and start putting them all on to something. So, uh, a very, very affordable way to do that, uh, reliably, is to go through Asia Tees and use all these Fly Sky radios and receivers. They're extremely affordable. Go check them out on Asia Tees website. Worth at least peeking at. Trust me on that. And, uh... Contrary to popular belief, they aren't all glitchy or whatever. I used mine at uh, Axial Fest, and it was the only one that didn't have a problem at all on my radio. So, pretty stoked. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today. I've got to get back to work. Uh, i got a lot of video editing and stuff to do, and a lot of catching up to do. So, you know how it goes. Peace and chicken grease. Thank you for tuning in. See you on the next one.